Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to do boot pop OS and Windows 10 or 11 using the refined bootloader so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all you need to download the pop OS ISO file from the official website and download it for your system and after that you need to go to the Rufus official website and download Rufus to make the bootable USB. And after that, you need to insert your pen drive, which is at least 4 GB or more. And then please make a backup of your pen drive because the data will be erased. After that, you need to open Rufus and select the pop OS ISO file. And then click on start. Now, since this process is going to take some time, I'm going to fast forward this part. Now close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management and after that select the local disk with the largest volume and then right click on it and select shrink volume. Now allocate your desired free space for pop OS. I'm going to give it 40 GB. Close disk management and restart your computer. Now while your computer is starting press F12 key or escape key to open boot menu and select the USB option and make sure that your secure boot is disabled in BIOS. Now choose your language and your keyboard layout. Now click on custom advanced and then click on modify partitions. Now the installer will tell you to create 1024 MB EFI partition. So right click on your free space and click on new and then create a 1024 MB FAT32 partition and after that right click on the remaining free space and then click on new and create a root partition of ext4 format so once done click on the screen check mark and wait for a while to refresh the partitions Now click on this yellow partition and use this partition as slash boot slash EFI and then click on this green partition and use this partition as root which is forward slash. Now it will ask for your username and your password so give your details and it will start installing pop OS. Now this will take some time so I'm just going to fast forward this part. Finally the installation is finished now you need to click on this restart device and when you restart your device you will see that it will directly boot into pop OS. Now we are in the setup screen of pop OS just quickly complete the setup.
so to install the refine bootloader you need to first open your terminal and then type sudo apt update to update your repositories and after that you need to type sudo apt install refined and it will download and install refined automatically and when prompt you need to select yes now we are already good to go you just need to restart your pc to see the refined bootloader While your computer is starting, press F2 key to enter the BIOS setup and then go to the boot tab and make sure that the refined boot manager is on the top priority. Now every time you turn on your computer, you will see this beautiful refined bootloader to choose between your operating system. Now there are a bunch of unnecessary options here so you just need to keep the windows option and the linux option which says ext4 with your root partition size you can delete all the unnecessary options by pressing the delete key on your keyboard so let's just do that you can also look up the refined bootloader documentation to apply custom themes So all the unnecessary options are removed. Now let's boot into Linux to check if it is working. So as you can see we are able to boot into the pop OS. Now let's restart and let's try to boot into Windows to see if Windows is working or not. So as you can see we are able to boot into windows as well so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you